Dr. Fred Pilo, University of Illinois. Today we're going to talk about our research on nitrogen use in corn. So that's what our research is all about. It's about looking at two of the four R's of nitrogen fertilizer management. We want to get a better placement and we want to make sure we have it available at the right time. And if you don't have enough nitrogen right from the very beginning, your yield potential is limited. Now that's not the best way environmentally to use nitrogen, to put it all on at planting and have some of it subject to loss. So what we're trying to do is take advantage of some new technologies that allow us to position nitrogen closer to the crop row. And then a lot of growers, what a lot of growers attempt to do to, to improve their nitrogen management is to put some of it on at planting and the rest of it on at side dress. Uh, they split or do a dual application. Now if you think about it, that makes a lot of sense, but it doesn't always work. Um, sometimes the, uh, the cost of uh, the economic benefit of making a side dress application doesn't pay. And sometimes if you don't have enough nitrogen to the plant at planting, you've already minimized that crop's yield potential and the side dress becomes less important. And what we are trying to do in our research is determine how much nitrogen has to be applied with the planter for us to get to realize the full yield potential and then be able to come back with a side dress application and apply the remainder. So we actually have three sites that we work on in Illinois. Illinois is a long state from north to south, which is a huge difference in the soil organic matter and the soil fertility. And so what we do is we do the research at each of these three sites to have different levels of inherent soil fertility. And what our research involves is comparing different amounts, ratios of broadcast or banded placed with the planter fertility and then follow it up with a side dress. So what we do with our side dress is we use a relatively new technology to achieve better placement referred to as a Y-drop. And that Y-drop applicator places that side dress nitrogen right along the crop row, right where the roots are. And this makes, helps make the, sure that water funneling down the crop stem incorporates that nitrogen and then it's immediately available to the crop root system. Now we have one year of research under our belt and we were actually uh, fairly pleased with the results. What we, what, we, what we clearly showed is by banding that nitrogen instead of broadcasting it, we always got more nitrogen in the plant and we had a higher yield. We're also particularly pleased to see that we, even by only putting a quarter of the nitrogen banded before planting, 45 pounds per acre, and then following the rest up with the side dress, is that we always achieved a higher yield than when we applied it all broadcast. I'm Eric Winans. I'm a PhD student in the Crop Physiology Laboratory here at the University of Illinois. Our research with uh, nitrogen really focuses on uh, which ways can we more, more efficiently fertilize nitrogen for corn production. You know, what, what placements, uh, timings of nitrogen application, rates of nitrogen, uh, increase the efficiency uh, of the use of that nitrogen by the corn crop and, uh, and minimizes the, loss of, the potential loss of that nitrogen uh, to the environment. One, one common practice uh, to uh, increase nitrogen availability season long to the corn crop is split applying nitrogen. Applying part of your nitrogen uh, prior to planting and the other part in season uh, around V6. Uh, but the problem with that though is that response to side dress is almost purely environmental and if you don't have enough mineralization earlier on in the season, uh, your, your yield trajectory could really go down. Um, when people are split applying nitrogen, sometimes they're not getting enough on early in the season to set a high enough yield potential. 
Uh, so one thing that we're looking at with our research is rather than broadcasting nitrogen, which would be a common practice in the spring, uh, we're using planter applied methods where we're concentrating nitrogen near that crop row. So you're almost kind of tricking that plant into thinking there's more nitrogen available right from the start of the growing season. And then hopefully that allows us to uh, apply less at planting, still set a sufficient yield trajectory, and then apply more in season at side dress when the crop is able to utilize it. Through our research, we actually have a liquid toolbar that has a coulter system, and we're mimicking planter applied nitrogen with that, where we're shifting that over two inches uh, away from where that seed's gonna be. We're putting it about two to four inches deep, and then that planter's coming through immediately after we apply that nitrogen with our liquid toolbar. But this is mimicking a two by two system on a planter, which would be a coulter that you can uh, you know, attach to your planter aftermarket that drags behind your, your row unit. So with the, um, I guess the aim of the new nutrient research loss reduction strategy is to better, I guess, more efficiently use the fertilizers that we have to uh, supply to our crop. And, you know, if we can find ways to, you know, not sacrifice overall yield, um, but just better utilize, you know, our, our, our inputs by uh, placing them where the crop can use it, timing it to when the crop needs it, um, we can potentially get away with less fertilizers and, uh, and decrease the potential for loss of the environment.